last project that I did was uh, the drain, the low point drain, the, the fresh water tank drain. It was shot. It was disgusting. I mean, you couldn't even turn it anymore. It broke off. And if you did get it off, I mean, I wasn't sure if it was going to disintegrate and then just not work anymore. So we ordered the part on Amazon, and I'll, I'll put a link or at least a part number. I'll put a, either one below in the description. So it was like four dollars. You could tell it was a four dollar part. Yeah, I wanted to take that off, and I wanted to put a new one on. So the tools that I needed, I needed to drill, a drill back a bit, a drill bit impact drill, a razor, a knife, uh, a clamp, a new clamp that had the uh, old kind of clamp on there that you cinch up for that type of pipe, but I got the kind that you could screw on. Uh, rivets, rivet gun. So I went under the, the RV and I unscrewed the assembly that was holding it on and then I, I cut it right there where the clamp was because the clamp is, is, a, is a compression type crimping clamp. I didn't want to use that. I wanted to use the kind that you could screw on there. And then if I had to do this again, or the next guy, they could just undo that and it would save them some time. So I didn't mind losing just a little bit of that pipe. I didn't see that as a problem. So then once I got it off, I checked it out and you could see it was trashed. And uh, the actual piece was held into the assembly with rivets. So I drilled them out the drill that's the only way you can get them off i mean if you do it any other way you're gonna ruin whatever you're working on so i drilled them out mom i got them out and i saw that the rivets weren't going to work very well so in my i call it my bag of tricks i keep a bag with tools and extra screws and, and nuts and i had a, a couple of locking nuts and a screw that was perfect so that's what i used i figured that would be easier for the next guy too so that's what we use in their locking, the nylon locking nut is perfect. So I put that on and then uh, secured that, tightened that down. I cut off the excess piece of the fitting because we have the larger size hose. Took it over, you gotta put the clamp on first. Don't forget that, otherwise you're gonna be like going back and forth. So I put the clamp on, I slid the thing in, cinched it up, no problem. Now I wanted to make sure that everything was cool before I just screwed the thing back into the underbelly and walked away because uh, you know what if we were going dry camping and I get out there and the dang thing had a slow leak and I didn't notice it. So I filled up the tank, went back and I checked it and everything was watertight so that made me happy. So then I just uh, screwed it back up and everything was good. Now I am sanitizing the tank just because we're about ready to hit the road and uh, you know we want a clean fresh tank in case we have to use this water for anything. We called the RV place down the road. Gersnies or Gersnies or whatever. This is the old one from the, the uh, not hot side, cold side or whatever. Took it off already because it was one that was dripping but I'm going to go ahead and replace it. So. That little piece in there, just like you have in your hoses, is what wore out. This here's what a new one looks like. So, I'm going to go ahead and do the hot one. If you don't have your water off, it's just going to pour out. But... So, that's what happens. You'll see it. Now look at that pressure. All right, we go turn off the water over there. Under pressure. Here, let me turn it off. I'll show you what we got over here. Follow me. We have this right here. Come here. This is the Y. So you get around there so you can see it. So you can shut it off just here without having to turn this. You can shut it off right there water's off all right okay. and this is our uh, to clean the tank the black tank so everywhere we go we take the Y and this has a <clears throat> pressure regulator on it <clears throat> we do carry one too but it's already got one
try not to strip it because it's muy malo. It's no bueno. Yeah. So I'm gonna keep the one that was on the hot one just in case. You don't really have to crank on it too much because, you know, of the plastic things in there. All right, so stay here. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it back on. Let me know if it starts squirting. Okay. No. Go? Not a one. Yep. GTG. There you go. Yay, babe. That's easy. Yep, so you use that when you drain it all to put in the uh, antifreeze if you're going to store this in the, in the winter.